In 1957, the Soviet Union launched the world's first satellite, Sputnik 1, into Earth orbit. 64 years later, there are about 3,400 active and almost 3,200 inactive satellites going around our planet. As well as derelict spacecraft, there are also other kinds of man-made debris in orbit, including derelict fragments from the disintegration, erosion and collision of satellites, paint flecks, solidified liquids expelled from spacecraft, and unburned particles from solid rocket motors. In 1978, NASA scientist Donald Kessler predicted that space debris would collide with each other, break up into smaller pieces and cause a chain of events that would eventually surround Earth with a cloud of debris. As a result, no vehicle could be sent into space and existing satellites would be destroyed through collision with the debris fragments. Kessler predicted that the cloud would envelop the world for generations, rendering space studies and satellite technology useless for the foreseeable future. This idea is called the Kessler effect, or Kessler syndrome. In 2019, the US Space Surveillance Network reported about 20,000 artificial objects in Earth orbit, including satellites. However, these are just the objects large enough to be tracked. According to estimates, there are more than 128 million pieces of debris smaller than one centimetre, about 900,000 pieces between 1 and 10 centimetres, and around 34,000 pieces larger than 10 centimetres. You may wonder how a 1 centimetre piece of debris could pose any kind of threat. The problem is the speed at which it moves. In low Earth orbit, objects are travelling at about 28,000 kilometres or 17,500 miles per hour, roughly 10 times faster than a bullet. In 2016, it's thought that a paint flake or small metal fragment no bigger than a few thousandth of a millimetre across hit the International Space Station's improved four-layered window and caused this damage. An object up to one centimetre in size could disable an instrument or a critical flight system on a satellite. Anything above one centimetre could penetrate shielding, and anything larger than ten centimetres could shatter a satellite or other spacecraft into pieces. So, should we worry about the Kessler effect? If Kessler turned out to be right, we wouldn't be able to use satellites that provide fast internet, TV broadcast, navigation, weather, time synchronization, environmental monitoring, safety and national security, space science and so on. If we lost all satellites, we'd be back to the situation of the 1960s and it would stay that way for a very long time. To address the problem and help clean up the debris in Earth orbit, various projects have been proposed. One of the most promising is Clear Space One. The idea is to launch a spacecraft that would capture inactive satellites using robotic tentacles. After a capture was made, the pair would dive into Earth's atmosphere and safely burn up. If everything goes as planned, Clear Space One will launch in 2025 and help to make space safe for future generations. <laughs>